So far on our Indian adventures, we've explored the southern state of Kerala, including the beautiful backwaters. And you're from Kerala? Kerala, Alapi. Alapi. And it's served on the on the leaf. Ah, banana leaf. Banana leaf. So that one, that one is banana. You just got them from here? Oh, yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, okay. Alive. Oh, jeez. Alive. Oh, geez. We also took a four-hour public bus to Manar. Ah. Here's the lads. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we made it. We made it. Where we had our first trekking experience in India. What's your name? I am Sri. You? Uh, Keelan. Keelan. How lucky are we to be here, Samantha? We're so lucky. And we explored around the city of Kochi. We're about to be hit by a bus. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We don't know where to go, to be honest. <laughs> you are But after an amazing few weeks in Kerala, it's time to leave and head to our next destination, Goa. Goa is located over 750 kilometers north of Kerala and is known for stunning beaches, laid back atmosphere and incredible sunsets. In order to get to this Indian paradise, we have to take a 14 hour overnight train leaving at 9pm tonight from Kochi and we arrive in Goa at 11am in the morning. And in typical fashion we got off to a frantic start. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. Okay, we're complete novices at this. This yeah. is both our first one. This is new to us completely. <laughs> We've never ever been on an overnight train and our first train in India as well. So I think the best thing to do is we have our tickets already. So I think we need to just go up and ask at the desk. Where the platform is. Yeah. Good, right, let's go. Platform four, she said. We need to go over, that's platform two over there, so we're over the far side. Okay, so maybe there'll be a lift to bring us up across. We'll see a little... It's like a crossover cross there, look. Crossover there, yeah. We also, we got a bag of munchies. <laughs> <laughs> we could have got them here though, there's a load of little vendor shops. Yeah, so. there is, yeah. Right, Samantha, our first challenge. <laughs> right, so... Steps. You take that, I'll take two cases. Can you manage? I'll have to. Uh, they're heavy. They are heavy. <laughs> there was a lift. I knew. <laughs> I knew what it had to be. Oh my god, we're Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there would have been a lift, but there's actually escalators, I never thought of that. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> okay, so our cabin is up this end. Okay, so so up near the engine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lad selling food. Okay, sleeper A2 is our cabin. I think, is that what you call it? Cabin? Yeah, cabin, yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. I wonder how much sleep we'll get on the sleeper train. <laughs> We're still on this bloody train. <laughs> I'm dying to see it now, honestly. It's our first experience. I'm really dying to see this. A2, okay. A2, 20 and 23 is what we need to find. When we eventually found our beds, we ran into a little bit of a problem. So we're on the train and it's taken off. I have to say, I'm impressed. It's actually very clean. And um, they gave us water and all getting on. But there's been a little bit of a mix up. Um, we thought we booked a four bird cabin and we would have been together, but the seats are a little bit separate. Now it's not too bad. One is to the side and then one is a top bunk in with a, with a family. 
So I think what we're going to do is use the top bunk in with family just to put our bags on and then we'll probably just sleep on the one. But we'll see how we get on anyway, or we might be tired in a while and one of us will jump on the top bunk. But um, yeah, it's really clean and uh, we're happy so far. <laughs> in the dark. Like right here. This is our other one. But we're just using it for um, for luggage at the moment. Number 20 and what's this one? 23. 23. You can see this one's very dark. We don't have a light here. <laughs> George. It's very clean, isn't it? Huh? It's spotless. So move over. It's, it's really clean, isn't it? I'm saying I, I was. It's, I'm impressed that it's so clean. And uh, they gave us water. Plenty of water. Plenty of water. We get food. We get food as well. It's nice and cool. When the conductor came around to check for tickets, we asked could we take the two top bunks beside each other. Is that okay? Yeah, because we actually thought we were together anyway, so that would be great if you could take them yeah. too. Yeah, you want these two? Yeah. 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 yeah, if the guy doesn't turn up, okay. you can take it. Okay, okay. Yeah, no that's great, thank you. Right, so we just got up to have a little walk. Um, we didn't get very lucky for our first round experience. We're in a cabin with a family. Yeah. <laughs> and they have two young kids, which is, you know, they want the lights off, the kids are tired and they're trying to go asleep, which is fine. But we wanted to sort of give a cabin tour and show a little bit more, like, do you know what I mean? We actually yeah. met some girls that, funny enough, we did a hike with them in Moon Hour and they're on yeah. the same train. Oh my god, how is? Hey. Jesus Christ. It's a small world, isn't it? Sorry. That's the game in the day. That's a mad, isn't it? Crazy. Oh things. And they're in the cabin right next to us. And there's just the three of them and I think an Australian girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they have like the lights on and they're sitting up chatting away and they just look real cozy. So yeah. you know it's it's nice obviously for them, but yeah, yeah for us we have to um, go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> it's only ten o'clock. And it's only ten o'clock. We got our munchies and everything. I know, I yeah. think we'll have a little party. A little movie night. <laughs> yeah, but that's not gonna be happening. Um Yeah, so that's it, but I have to say I said it already, but I'm really, really impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be dirty, but I just don't know what I was expecting, to be honest with you, and it's very, very clean. There's like fresh sheets brought out, and like a pillow, what else do we have? Nice, yeah, air conditioning air unit right above us. There's air conditioning unit right above us, a little night light as well. I think we can leave that on, to be, to be fair, when we yeah. go back up, like, yeah. probably be on our phones for a little bit. Um, I'd say we'll sleep. Oh yeah, it's definitely comfortable enough to sleep. Yeah, it That's is sure. very comfortable to sleep. Yeah, you know, it is, yeah. We've our beds made nice and cosy. You have a sheet to lie on and then a sheet to put over you. And they also give you a blanket as well, which I don't think we'd be needing. Yeah. Because it's, um, it's, it's not too cold, to be honest no, with you. No, it's and not too cold. The air conditioning is the, right just, amount, it's yeah. the right amount. It's the right amount. So we've used the blanket and put it under the pillow. So it's like an extra high pillow. Yeah, so yeah. I think it'd be very comfortable. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just not ready to go to sleep yet. That's yeah, the, I don't feel tired that's either. The thing, yeah. Is there yeah. a bar on this train? No? <laughs> so Keelan's gonna go in and give you a little toilet tour before we go back to the cabin. Right, wish me luck, Samantha. <laughs> if I don't come back in five minutes, just <laughs> ring for help. Anyone in there? Woo! Right, the smell is a bit pungent. Okay, so this isn't gonna take long. I better lock the door in case somebody comes in. Uh, we have a sink. We also have, oh, it's actually full of hand soap that's handy, a big mirror. This is the toilet situation. So I think Samantha's gonna be thankful that that's not a squatty potty, that this is a uh, normal toilet to us, so she'll be happy with that. What else? There's a tiny little bit of toilet roll, so not a lot. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Um, it is quite roomy, but also the floor is wet. So it is, sorry. Like that, I think there's a bit 
two floor stop so people could still get on and I'm just yeah. hoping that no one gets on for <laughs> the one <laughs> taken. <laughs> As the hours went by, we did manage to get some sleep until Keelan woke up in the middle of the night to the noise of some extra voices and bizarre sounds coming from the cabin.
bed felt comfortable, but after a few hours, it's it now like an iron bar. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like a break. It's not very comfortable at all. To be fair, at the beginning I was like, this is grand, I'm going to have a nice sleep. But I woke up a couple of times. I'm up now because I need to make a trek to the toilet. After a pretty groggy start of the morning, and with Goa being less than an hour away, it was time for breakfast. So breakfast has arrived, let me see what we have. We have a mango juice, we have some Indian food, don't know what it is yet until I bite into it. <laughs> we have, that feels like bread. Yeah, open it, I think it's bread, and then we got another coffee juice. So after 14 hours on our train, we finally made it to Goa. Welcome to Goa. Everything warm? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, everything good to yeah. go. Yeah. Shut the door, yeah? Yeah, I'm walking away. There you go. Yeah. Manage? Yeah. Do you want me to take your own as well? Can you manage it? There you go. Yeah. Lovely. Right. Right. Up that way, I assume. Yeah. Once we arrived at the train station, we needed to make our way to a place called Palalem. Right, so we're at the train station. 15 hours later, we're in Goa. 
we've rang the hotel and I've asked them what should we be expecting to pay from the train station to the hotel it's about an hour's drive and the guy said 1500 rupees which thing's about 18 euro so then I asked the question around here and they said 1500 as well so it seems a good deal I guess I'm not really too sure but 18, 18 euros 1500 rupees for an hour drive for a taxi I think we'll take that that's great thank you We're like turtles with our backpacks, aren't we? Oh, Jesus. So much luggage. Oh, I'm all strapped in. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh. A lot of rain. Is that right? No. Some rain? No. No rain? Somewhere it's rain. Some, okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Is that, is that normal? No. It's not normal? Yeah, yeah. We brought the rain, Samantha. No, yeah. Is it morning. to be raining for the next week? Rain. Rain, rain, rain. Anyway. Go away. Come again another day. <laughs> God, I can't believe we're singing after 15 hours of that, uh, that train ride. Once we arrived to our accommodation, we were on selfie duty. Selfie. Selfie. Ready. Selfie. Done. Four, three, it's on a timer. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, thanks very much. Bye bye. And we made a new little furry friend, and his name was Puglin, and he was the most adorable little pug. New little friend. <laughs> it's the name Puglin. <laughs> Puglin. Look at you. Look at his face. All in all, we did enjoy our first overnight train experience. We will probably do more as we travel throughout India. But for now, we plan to stay in Goa and explore some of the beaches here. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you're coming to India and you plan to use some of the overnight trains, please leave any questions you may have in the comments. To follow all of our daily updates, make sure to follow us on Instagram. We still have so much more to come from our India travels, so make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one from Goa.